Here we are in the mission board. Come over here and we're going to just find a pretty straightforward planetary scan mission. Here's a pretty simple one. We are going to accept this and then we are going to head on out. So I like to use a small ship. Uh, planetary scan missions, the gist of the mission is you are going to go to a system that they direct you. You are going to scan the nav beacon. Landing Once you scan retracted. the nav beacon and head back out into supercruise, they will direct you to a planet that you are going to head to. That planet will then have a target settlement on there. Inside that settlement, there will be a little uh, tower that I'm going to show you when we get there. Uh, just a little beacon that you have to scan. Once you scan that and get out of town, because sometimes they will shoot at you. Um, but once you get out of town, you are done. So yeah, I like to use a small ship, like I said, because you do have to get pretty close to these uh, nav beacons or the target beacon before it will allow you to scan it. Um, I know I've seen some people trying with large ships and you kind of have to contort yourself and get get over because typically your scanner is it appears like it's probably in your cockpit. You gotta get really close up there. Kinda go all top gun inverted on there. Another thing I like to do is I like to put shields on my ship because these missions, the planetary scan missions, uh, if your ship gets lost, if you are blown up, or if you crash into the uh, into the planet and destroy your ship, you fail the missions, and any of the other planetary scan missions that are in your queue. So. Uh, defense is kind of the name of the game here. You want to be able to survive pretty much anything uh, that comes your way while you're on this mission. Um, you know, interdictions, uh, but really the main uh, source of any kind of damage is on uh, the kind of higher end, more elite missions where you, know, you get the five star influence, but it it requires a uh, higher level um, or higher skill level for it. There will be turrets and defensive uh, guns at the little settlements. Sometimes there will be a, uh, a chase ship that will shoot at you uh, once you've scanned the nav beacon. Or not the nav, I keep saying nav beacon. The target beacon. Uh, and so, yeah, you definitely want to be able to survive uh, those little attacks after it's done because like I said if you lose your ship you fail the mission so here I am I'm at the nav beacon let's see did it give me yep and so you see down here I have the target planet that we are heading to so I'm going to head off right now drive charging. and if you're lucky it is not, you know, 92,000 light seconds Three, away. Two, um, one, engage. Really the biggest pain of these missions is if they are really way far out there, it just gets a little bored. Sometimes, or I'll bring a planetary scanner and get some uh, cartographics while you are out doing these missions. Um, not needed. It'll, as soon as you get within a uh, couple megameters of the planet, the uh, you come over here, nav beacon. Over here, they'll show another settlement that'll pop up. Um, ooh, one thing, make sure on your filter over here, you have settlements selected, or else you will not know where you are going. So, 
once you are there and you start when you target your settlement once you get close to it that settlement is going to dance all over the place it's one of those things where uh, you get close and the you'll see here in a few seconds the um the settlement target will shift on you when you get close usually it's about five uh five shifts before it stops and a settlement will be under your target. I looked up for this video. A lot of times they the planets are pretty far out there. Oh, and you see it just switched over, so I am going to this outpost. So you lock that destination. And now we gotta find it. So it is on the other side of the planet, so we are gonna go and chase it. You get very good at, you know, kind of skimming across the atmosphere when you're doing these missions because if you drop out of orbital cruise, you kind of have to jump back up into super cruise or else you will be there for hours trying to make it over to your target area. I like to kind of go sideways so that I can see the target Oh, my side windows. So there we go. You'll see here, once I start getting close, it'll be any second now here. There it is, and there's the dance. So we need to just basically chase this guy around for a little bit until it settles. And then once it settles, there are kind of two ways that you can do it. I like staying in my ship. That's kind of the benefit of being in a small ship. Or if you do, prefer the large ships you can get out into your SRV and you can do your scan that way. I find that that takes just a lot of time and then you know the SRV is going to take a lot of damage from the turrets if you do happen to get a uh, defended settlement. Not the best position. Sorry if I make anybody seasick here. So yeah, this is this is really the most tedious part of the mission is just trying to follow these targets around as they usually will put them directly behind you as you're cruising right behind so yeah I gotta you have to pull a 180 a lot Here it goes again all right didn't drop that far away that's kind of nice so it may shift around one maybe two more times before it settles all right i think we got one more and then it's gonna oh nope there it is so you can see the settlement right down there so i like to slow down so that i can not go in reverse. I like to have night vision on so you can see where everything is. It is right here in the middle. So this guy with the lights on it, I'm gonna get right up next to it. Let's see if I can get you a better view. So this is your target with these green lights on it. This is always going to be your target. So you basically come right up so if you see now it's targeted, so I am, what, maybe five meters away from it. So you target that, you scan it. Incoming message. Once Incoming it's scanned, if there were any message. defensive turrets, but on this one there isn't, they would be shooting at me now. You just boost your butt out of there. And that's it. That is a completed planetary scan mission. So now I... We'll boost back to my home base. Frame shift drive charging. 
and turn turn this mission in. 